channel. We're switching things up just a little bit today because we're not talking about sneakers specifically, although we are wearing the sneakers and we're gonna have some sneakers on all the time because that's just part of it. Um, we're gonna change things up a little bit. So basically what this is starting is gonna start a vlog series. I'm gonna start vlogging uh, my wife and I's transition from Norfolk, Virginia all the way over to Whidbey Island. We're gonna be stationed there for at least three years. Um, and it's also gonna discuss my transition from an enlisted sailor to an officer. And it's a lot that goes into that. Um, I'm gonna talk more about the uniforms. I'm gonna talk about the mental transition, the leadership transition of it. Um, what's expected out of you and what's gonna be expected out of me moving forward and how I'm gonna go about adapting with that process. So, like I said, it's a vlog, so I'm gonna take out with me. I gotta do some things today. I need to clean my truck. Every time I go to work, it gets filthy. So, I need to go get my dress blues adjusted to be taken in a little bit because I've been working out, <laughs> losing a little bit of weight, and it doesn't fit right. And I also need to get the rank insignia attached to it uh, on the sleeve, because uh, that's, that's, that's the different thing that we do now. So, like I said, it's gonna be a journey. It's gonna be a trip. Uh, sorry for the acoustics in the room right now. There's not a lot of furniture in here. You can see I normally have sneakers as far as I can see right here. They're not there anymore because they've been packed up and they're getting shipped over to Whibby Island. So it'll be a minute before I get those sneakers back uh, behind the desk, back to my setup. Uh, so for right now, we're living minimalistic. Yeah, so let's get started. I'm gonna go clean my truck, but I'm not gonna clean my truck and my fours that I'm wearing, I gotta change to these real quick while I do that. So we'll see y'all a little bit at the car wash. Peace. I did not start this vlogging process at the very beginning of starting to accumulate everything that I need to accumulate and accomplish. Uh, prior to October 1st, I just really started to get the motivation to pick the camera up and uh, start recording everything. So, most of my uniforms are actually already purchased, thankfully, because uh, as a chief, you wear essentially the same uniforms as, uh, as officers. It's not a whole lot of stuff that needs to be done. Basically, you just change some patches, uh, get some different things sewn on, and change your collar insignia. So it's not a whole lot, so I'm just, in the process of trying to finish all of that, uh, and it's a lot, so that's why we're going to the next today. behind me right now who's trying to watch his car. I don't know if he's trying to bully me, but I think I want to sit here for a minute in just case he is trying to bully me. Just kidding, he's not. But yeah, car wash is packed. I guess it makes sense. It's a beautiful day outside and it's a Labor Day weekend, so everybody's uh, kind of on vacation or going on their road trips and wants their car to be clean and everything like that. So the truck is looking good. Um, next stop is the next, so let's go do that. Yeah, it's still, it's still hard for me to believe and for me to hold on to the fact uh, that I'm gonna be an officer. So I've been in the Navy for 13 years, 13 years of enlisted service. Uh, so when I talked earlier a little bit about how I'm gonna deal with the transition and how I'm gonna adapt that, that's a thing that is really gonna take some getting used to because uh, I just got finished adapting to becoming a chief. And when you're a chief, it's already a whole new way of thinking and uh, of leadership. And that, doesn't necessarily directly transition over to that of an officer. Your roles are just different. Um, now, I always think the way that I've been thinking uh, as a chief, and I, I think I'll go about my problem solving the same, and it'll also give you more of a, uh, it makes you more relatable to the sailor because you used to be in their shoes uh, when you're an LDO, a limited duty officer. 
So I'm gonna always carry some things that I've learned, if not everything I've learned with me, um, and help to help me in my process and transition into to being an officer. But right now, I'm just, it's like a head spin. I'm trying to get everything, uh, everything in place before October 1st, which will be my ceremony, my actual commissioning date. And uh, I'm slacking. When I first got the results that I picked up officer, I was all over the place. I was taking care of everything. I was looking up commissioning coins. I was looking up venues to do the ceremony. Uh, I was checking uniforms and everything was so exciting. And it was just so much anticipation until this day. And it was just so far away though. And I guess what happened is I kind of just lost track of time. And now I have less than a month until that actual commissioning day. And I'm doing all this running around, kind of like a chicken with his head cut off, trying to figure out how to get everything done within time. Um, but this is the last thing. This is the last thing I need to do for my uniform. I need to go and get alterations done to my dress blue jacket. And I also need to have the ensign rank insignia sewn on the sleeve. And I need to get the chief insignia removed from the sleeve of the dress blue uniform. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm gonna put the camera down so I can drive because Virginia is not known for its class A drivers and I don't wanna be part of the problem by reporting. So I'll see y'all the next. That really concludes today's adventures and today's uh, task. <laughs> I'm done already. That probably took about 30, 45 minutes, but uh, I'm happy that they were able to tailor my uh, dress blue top because it fit real big on me and I felt like it didn't look professional the way that I wanted it to look. It didn't look like it fit sleek and clean the way that I wanted it to look. Uh, so the, the ladies who work in the Navy Exchange in Oceana are awesome. They know exactly what they're doing. Uh, the turnaround is even quicker. So I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, Miss Jackie and the rest of the ladies that work in the Oceana Navy Exchange uh, uniform section. So that's it, real slight video today. Um, got some good things done. We've got way more to do with this house and way more to do uh, with the moving process in general and commissioning and getting all my uniforms packed up and ready to go because I'm taking this truck with me to Rhode Island. Um, so everything that I have needs to fit in this truck for the next couple of months until I actually get settled in Woodby Island, Washington. But for now, that's it. Uh, thanks for taking a little trip with me. Thanks for riding around with me today, getting these tasks done, getting these chores done. Now it's time to go home, chill, and play some Madden and some Call of Duty. Peace.